Hey, what's up guys? So patch 1.06 is absolutely crazy. I wanted to talk about what it fixed and what the new cringe metas will be. Uh, these clips were recorded. Just look at look at how far that was. I didn't I didn't actually realize on the day of that this was going to be wax dust essentially from Dark Souls 3. I thought maybe you would invade like when it, I read the patch notes it said invade in like distant areas or whatever. I assumed maybe it would be like you invade in the lake, you can invade anywhere in the lake. But no, it ended up being the full Wex Dust that everybody asked for, which is just amazing. It's really unlike FromSoft to just actually listen to the people that play their games. It's pretty good shit, but um... So these clips are recorded on the day of the patch on my strength build, and I got some I got some pretty good ones. I hope you like them. But um... Okay, so Rivers of Blood. Rivers of Blood got nerfed into the ground, essentially. And um... As much as that's a good thing, I think they probably over-nerfed it. They could've... They could have could have left it a little bit broken. Because it's not nearly as bad. Like, I, I would prefer it to be the meta over Moonvale. Which you'll see. There's a bunch of Moonvales in these clips. Like, Moonvale is so overused now. Same with Vike Spear. Like, people just reallocated to the next, like, cringe bullshit they found. These guys were super laggy, by the way. But it was a good fight. I hate it when people use the rings to swap from host to summon. Always bothers me. But yeah, yeah. Look, start, look at the stars of the room game. I look at him go. And of course, it, it takes me a minute to remember, like, oh, the Moonveil too. Yeah, it takes me a minute to remember that I can strafe it. I keep, I keep like spam rolling it. <laughs> look at him, Jesus. But I keep just spam rolling because it's what I've been always been used to. But there are other spells now that can essentially do the same thing that Stars of Ruin does, and they're gonna have to change the homing of all of these spells like I think there's one that sends three projectiles that's like fine with me cuz you know I I use that on my on my in build just to finish people strictly um, and it rarely works I don't know I pebble is better oh speaking of pebble pebble got nerfed pebble is actually good now like pebble pebbles perfect like having range on it, it's essentially like the beasts roar like heal punish oh like um if you're dealing with a gank and somebody is, is one shot and you can't get to them because like somebody else is pressuring you you can just roll away from them and then use a pebble real quick and they're usually dead especially when I run it on my int build like it's a, it's such a good punish now and it, like it actually has tech it has purpose which is just great I really like what they I love what they did with pebble I, I can't be happier about that but um I think rivers could have been left a little bit more alone just because I'm okay with oh my god the lag I'm okay with um I'm okay with the Rivers of Blood meta. It's Moonvale that is just completely just heinous. Like like Moonvale is absurd. It's actually ridiculous. Look at this spam, I had to just spam him to counteract the lag. <laughs> and this was the same team as earlier, so I knew killing the host uh, that wasn't actually the host. I always like check the check the gamer tags as I'm invading just to see if I remember them. Yeah, look at that. Look at that moonville. Did you see that hitbox, by the way? Like, I swear, lag is like a buff for some of these people. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, that miss. Rip. But, um... Oh, man. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm gonna be honest. 1.06 is, is just pretty damn good. I mean, the meta is, is gonna change for the worse, in my opinion, because of the Roots of Blood thing. Um, But... You know, the, the other stuff, it's nothing but good stuff. Like the invasions, the wax dust, that's that's great stuff. That's that's going to make the game be a lot more fun, a lot less stale. I mean, um, half, it is, it's it's interesting. I'm going to have to start, this is a 137 strength build. Oh, get shit on. But um, this is a 137 strength build, and half of the invasions at meta level are just people about to fight Elden Beast. Look at, <laughs> look at this, by the way. That is beautiful. Get shit on. But um, yeah, it's it's so nice to be able to. Oh yeah, Moonbow. It's it's really nice to be able to strafe stuff like that. Just cause. Oh look at this dagger kill. Look at this. Look at that. Through the host. Look at that. That is embarrassing. Full veterans Moonvaler. Nice. But um, no, I'm I'm happy overall. This was a really good patch. And and BHS getting. Oh my god. BHS really needed a nerf. BHS is so stupid. I hate it so much. 
Well, I mean, it's it's not bad anymore, but you know, in its prime, it literally made people on even the slightest bit of latency completely invincible. Like like the 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 frames on it, like the iframes on BHS were so stupid. And like now, if somebody's super laggy, BHS can be just as broken. Oh, light load too. I gotta talk about that. Oh, watch this guy. Nice. Claw Talisman, Spear Talisman activating because he was using rivers and it hit me in the in the air, I assume. But yeah, that was, <laughs> that was that was wacky. But um Yeah, that's that's how good Rivers of Blood is now, by the way. That's that's everybody using rivers. Just get just gets one shot. But it is nice that light load is a thing. I've tried it as well. I tried a light load. I might make a video on it. I tried light load claymore. And the spacing actually works really well if you roll out and then just do a heavy. It often can be a good punish if you, if they're like chasing you down like super aggressively, and um, and it can be nice. Then you can go for the roll catch, and also light rolls make it so you can roll right out of this right here. By the way, that was, that was good timing. Yeah, get shit on VHS. But um, the Gugs poke, which I. I, I'm not gonna lie, I am a fan of, even though it can make fights somewhat boring. I definitely prefer... I only swap to Gugs if, like, somebody else is using Gugs. I was using Claymore for the host, but then this guy was rude, so that's why Gugs is is on me right now. For this for this cringe lord. But, um, yeah, watch that. <laughs> Look at that. Look. VHS is over. But Light Roll, you can actually get out of, like, the whole infinite roll catches. Like, that, that whole thing. And, um... And I, def I actually do really, really like, even though I'm not going to use it, it will add some variety and some incentive to the people that, like, light load in this game. Yeah, this guy was pretty cool, too, by the way. He was using bleed on a on a claymore, which is just cool. But, um, yeah, this guy was chill. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with the... I'm happy with the state of the game at this point. Oh, man, these guys were awesome. This was such a goofy three man. Look at that. Stars of Ruin still does absurd damage, like if you level correctly, but now that you can strafe it, it's pretty much useless. So. So that's good. But um Yeah. Yeah, Pebble, Pebble is amazing now, especially on an int build. Stars of Ruin got got destroyed. Rivers of Blood got destroyed. It just got destroyed. And that's the thing, I mean, I guess I guess Pebble didn't get destroyed, but the rest of them did get pretty much, like, obliterated. Like, to the point where people are going to use them a lot less. And um, and now I see Vike Spears, like, like two people, like, Taunter's Tonguing, both using dual Vike Spears. That is, that, I literally can't beat that. Like, I don't know, I don't know about, G, about G9 or Chase the Bro, but how the fuck... Like, the invasions that I see them get, like, like Chase the Bros, um, Weapon Showcase in particular, the invasions I see him get are, like, the nicest invade. I swear. They're such, like, the chillest people ever. I want to see Chase try to fight dudes with only madness, because it is absolute AIDS. I swear to God, it is, like, literally, like, like, you have a 1% chance of beating that shit if they're remotely good, which, again, usually they aren't. Like, people who use that are usually brain dead. But, if they're even slightly good at the game, slightly, the slightest bit of skill, or, or the slightest bit of practice, they could have 30 hours in the game that's just PvP, and they would destroy you. Because it's madness. Madness is actually, fundamentally, just completely busted. Especially at a low level, oh my god. Who was using- oh, look at this, look at Pebble. Look at the state of Pebble. He thought he could infinite stun me. <laughs> oh man, Pebble. Pebble is only good as a ranged punish now. It's not- it's no longer the whole one-shot cringe that it was. But, um, no, ma Madness. Oh my god, Madness. And Fingerprint Shield. Oh my god. Jesus. Some of the shit in this game is, is still- I mean, it needs work. I think overall, just the damage is absurd. I was watching uh, I was watching a streamer Stilovsky, and uh, he was talking about how this game um, has a very low uh, he called it TTK like time to kill I, I had never heard of that term but it makes it's essentially Call of Duty this game like you kill people very very quickly it is like high octane bullshit look at that by the way I landed the first part of the Ash War from Serpent Army I think he was just out of stamina that whole fight was just everybody being out of stamina but. 
Anyway, like, it, there's a very low TTK in this game, as opposed to, like, um, you know, Dark Souls 3, where the, the damage was actually normal, or somewhat normal, I mean, compared to, you know, the backstabs and, and, you know, straight swords. Dark Souls 3 had its own problems, obviously, but, like, this game, everybody just dies, so, like, like that, I just essentially one shot at that guy, I mean, people don't really level Vigor, but even if they did, I'm, I'm gonna kill them relatively quickly, and it's just... That's not as challenging, that's not as fun, and, and I think I think the main change, like, we're, I mean, obviously fingerprint needs to be fixed, madness needs to be fixed, moon veil needs to be fixed. I think fingerprint should literally just be deleted, but, you know, aside from these changes, just the flat damage needs to be, like, borderline reworked. Look at that! Look at that! I mean, it's, again, these guys don't level vigor, but, like, if they did, it would have just been that that I just did, and a roll catch, like I'm doing with the, just the roll catch. Like, it, he would have been dead. Oh, this kill is pogged, by the way. From fucking, from downtown right here, look at this. <laughs> Didn't even see it coming. But yeah, no, overall, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm really happy. It's definitely a step in the right direction. I'm just happy that FromSoft is listening. But, um, yeah, this is the last invasion. This is the, uh, the Moonvale Gamers. These, it's just two absolute Moonvale gods. <laughs> it's just, it's awesome. And I love the bubble, too. Oh my god, the bubble. Watch me try to trade these guys. <laughs> I'm tr trying to trade with Moonvale just to get their bubbles off. <laughs> Look at that. I don't even know what I was thinking, but it didn't, I was somehow out of range of that one. Um, imagine space in Moonvale. But, um, yeah, look, dead. One, two, that's it. Yep. That was a total of four seconds, essentially. Like, that's... Man. Yeah, the damage needs to be reworked. That's my that's my main point. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Sub if you think fingerprint should be deleted, by the way. You are a cringe.